Muslim Brotherhood, the latest media figures that they are giving is 120, while the Egyptian um, officials are saying only 26 people were killed. Now, we know that the Muslim Brotherhood does sometimes exaggerate the number of people that have killed, but at the same time, the Egyptian authorities basically underestimate the number of people that have been killed. So it's anything from between 26 to 120. That's quite a significant number. What were the prote protesters demanding? Um, these protesters have been in two encampments in Cairo um, demanding the statement of President Morsi. And the Egyptian Interior Ministry had been warning for a while that they had to clear the encampments, and if they didn't clear the encampments, that they would send the victory in. Um, these protesters have been under the threat for um, the last few days, and the military officially moved in this and when I spoke to the Muslim Brotherhood, they described to me how the, um, the military moved in. And they, they were actually fired at by snipers in helicopters that were above and also snipers on top of surrounding buildings. They said that the military first moved in with military vehicles to force, for, to force a pathway through the protesters because the protesters had actually um, barricaded themselves in because they were expecting the military to move in from last Sunday. So that is how the, 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 uh, the, the shooting began. And the, how, and the, the military is now saying that they have, they've cleared one of the smaller encampments and they're busy clearing the second. So the death toll and the number of injuries are probably going to rise mm. in the next few hours. Initially, these night vigils by the pro-Morsi protesters were relatively peaceful. What changed? Um, well, you know, there's, again, there's, there's the conflicting reports from both sides. Um, the, the Egyptian officials say that, you know, some of the Muslim Brotherhood people are armed. The Muslim Brotherhood says that's not the case, and that in each case when um, the military has forced in and moved, forced forcefully um, moved against the Muslim Brotherhood, they have used excessive force and have started firing first. Um, by any, who, whoever's account you choose to believe, it, there definitely is a case of the military using excessive force.